Right, time is very sparse. So let's get some bodywork on this and let's get it looking like it's going to be a truck. Right, okay folks, um, we need really need to crack on with this because time is at a premium here. Right, as you know, I made some plastic shackles in the old video and since then I've ordered some short shackles from TTP Models, which is Tony's Tamiya Parts. They are common to all of the 14 scale trucks for the front suspension just over here and that works a lot better now i think tammy have put the longer shackles on the front to try and lift that front up a little bit so when that lift axle goes up um it clears under the wheel now it clears anyway on the real thing it it, it doesn't lift up too much anyway in fact, on the real thing, that the mid lift lifts up only a short um, amount, but the rear suspension also lifts up, which gives it more clearance. Anyway, I've put these on, I've put these on, I've measured it because the, the chassis is um, parallel to the workbench, equal distance here, and then I've measured to the centre of each hub, and they are all exactly the same. So that will lift up. And with this being right on the edge, it lifts up this centre part about five millimetres. So not the biggest distance in the world, but I'm happy with that. So yeah, if you want some equal length shackles, they're about £8 for a set uh, from TTP Models. I'll leave a link in the description below to that exact part so we need to start putting on some wheel arches and floor plate let's start getting this up to a point now you notice i haven't started any wiring yet i am be putting the the bayer s f r1 in it I've been doing a little bit of reading, a little bit of looking around on Facebook. Um, so yeah, that's going to be new ground for me. So not looking forward to because it's going to be a faff and I haven't got the time to faff about. Um, but also looking forward to, you know, trying something different. So let's get some body work on this change of desk mat um, because what I used to do with painted parts is I used to have like a beige towel on the thing and I don't really like the beige towel but this is a non-slip uh, pit mat that I've just got from uh, RD Models. I did have a Schumacher Racing one but I think I sold that when I got rid of um, all my 10th scale racing stuff so uh, this just needs all bolting together and uh, I don't think you're going to want to see me uh, bolting all this together so let me uh, crack on and bolt it all together and um, get it fitted to the truck right I've just come to a part where I think it's worthy of note that because I've put in the lift axle um, motor thingy it's obviously fitted inside the chassis rail whereas if you build it to, to standard um, with, the, with the manual uh, you know what I'm saying it's telling us to use a 15 millimeter screw uh, bolt that goes through here and if you look at how far that that goes through into the frame that actually goes in and touches that um, lift mechanism so i've found that a 12 millimeter screw is much better 
because it doesn't go it goes through the chassis goes through all, all the way through um so there's no wasted thread on the other side so if you're going to use the aftermarket lift axle linear servo then you're going to have to get some 12 millimeter bolts to replace the 15 millimeter bolts that you get this mat isn't really very good for placing things on but other than those two um, bolts it is looking much more like a heavy hauler I've not found a problem with this bolt this long bolt that goes through the fender into this it doesn't actually get in the way of this um, lift axle mechanism there that's a better view um, because it, it, it some, somehow has a recess in the back of this but on this one here it's right at the very end and you need to get a slightly shorter bolt um, but that is how it's coming along I haven't done anything with the rear lights because I will be installing the Bayer system so I don't want to start gluing light lenses in only to have to pull them apart and make things difficult for myself I'm just getting it together to get some white parts on just to motivate myself more than anything um, because if I, if I if I leave it it's just going to stay um, gathering dust so I've got to keep going I've got to push myself got to keep going got to keep moving on uh, right I'm going to get the front part on now and here we have some um, white bits on I've put on the front cab floor plate with the upper floor plate and the seat bases I've painted those black not that you're going to really see them uh, battery box just here lights I've not put any of the lights in yet because what I want to do is I want to set out all of the electronics in like a bench test before I go any further now I like this side because it's got this panel on it not so much this side because it hasn't I hope somebody comes out with a side panel that's opposite to go on the other side I don't like that at all and the other thing I don't like is the fifth wheel it's a standard fifth wheel that we see on all of the trucks I do like this very very nice paintwork um, although the new fifth wheel does come with a metal um, jaw in there and that is um, quite good well, it is a heavy hauler so I can see why they've done that um, but I think I have got some oops not the camera let me see if I've got some got some spare man parts for that cab which I had given to me by a very good friend so thank you for that um, Herbie DRC paints 
uh, has painted it for me. So yeah, all excited for that. Got some chrome parts, got some new shiny step parts. And in here somewhere, I should have some shiny, ah, I need those. And that's where they are. They are the Carson upgrade for the steering. So, right, I found them. And I found that. And that. And there is one more thing that should be in here. And I have actually got that. Lots and lots of stuff. Too much stuff. Actually, I just keep buying stuff. And I just can't stop. It's an addiction. There are no self help groups. And I wouldn't go to one even if I could. So, this looks a little bit naff on a truck of this uh, quality. Now, I do have um, a Lesu, Lisu, however you want to call it, uh, plate. Um, fifth wheel, metal fifth wheel. Do like that. Um, let's open these up. Now, I bought this specifically for a project that I've done, already done, and it's just an upgrade part. So that fits on there. Now I think that looks I don't know if we can really yeah, I think that looks a lot better. And these Pull the handle and releases the thing, the keying pin, and then when you hook a trailer up, it shoots across. That's pretty good. Do like that, but I have. Another option which I prefer and with this one you get a new kingpin which is specific for this one and as you can see I like this one better because it's a fixed and that looks a lot more heavy duty so as the kingpin comes in and that comes across like that I do like that one very much so Hmm, I do like that one a lot better than this one. And I will have to port another couple of holes in the frame 
and I can put that one I'll have to have a look but I think it is just forward just forward or well, just after the first drive axle and if that's the case then I would have to drill two more holes but I like that one and it twizzles sideways as well as back and forth yeah I like that but I am intrigued as to how this mechanism uh, works let me uh, in typical fashion take it apart I want to see how it works. Oh yeah. So that's how it works. So when the kingpin comes in and actuates Locks open. So for that to come up, yeah, I like that. And now I've just not said it. it. I could do with having some um grease on that but yeah that's pretty much how that goes yeah i like that I should imagine the other one's slightly different because it's uh tilts and pivots but yeah um, I think I'm going to go for the fixed one because I think it deserves something a little bit better than the stock Tamiya so yeah that one looks okay but I do like the look of this one Yeah, definitely. I might open that up and put a bit of grease in it. Let's put a bit of um, lubrication in that. Let's have a look how it comes apart. That one screw, grub screw in the middle. Push that all the way through, move, remove the roll pin uh -huh. right so there's a spring in that and that one's a little bit more basic Yeah, that one's uh, pretty good. Retaining screws for the handle. They're all screwed in. And that needs a little bit of lube. Because 
We don't want it to uh, wear. That works better. Now let's get this back to how it was. We'll put that spring tension back on. Make sure we put that on the right way so it tilts forward and not back. Push that through there and uh, just drop that in, and that is it. I will wipe off any excess um, after I've done with it. I just don't want these stainless steel um, handles wearing away at the uh, aluminium. That's better. That's better. Yeah, that's going on there. And I think I'm going to have it. I'm going to have to figure out where it needs to go because I think I'm going to be pulling a ballast trailer with this. So I'm going to have a measure up of the other one and how much, how deep the kingpin is. But in the meantime, we need to get some rubber on this. And that can go in the surplus to requirements box. And we'll get some... Uh, Wheels on it. And again, that's not going to be um, easy because put it on the right way around. Got a lot of screws to put in. And them hexes. So I've got all them to sort out. Let me sort them out. Right, now they are sorted. We have 
little tiny 2.5 whoops go on focus 2.5 millimeter bolts we have and tiny tiny I think they're 1.6 by 4 and 2 by 6 cap heads I do have an idea but I'm going to uh, bang these in and uh, show you something that I want your opinion on so I'll be right back For those eagle-eyed amongst you, you will see that I've put um, black cap head bolts in there because I don't know whether I like silver or black. So same for the rears as well something's telling me that I like the black but also the silver I like them equally I think the silver cap heads do look good but what do you think let me know in the comments because i really like the black because the whole truck is going to be black and white with very little silver there's going to be some silver accents on the cab but i like the silver but i do like the black so let me know what you think tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to put all silver in this side and on the other side I'm going to put all black to see if I can see any bigger difference right then we have um, finished the bottom half as far as the building goes because I haven't done anything with the wiring yet I need to set all of the um, Bayer system out before I even start to install it um, because there's a lot, lots of different lights lots of different lights and I want everything working even the side repeaters over here um, so I did put out there uh, because this video was done over the over a period of five or six days because time is um, short um i did ask whether or not i should have the black or the silver bolts in all of the wheels and some people liked the black um but most people like the silver i was undecided i could not decide whether i liked the black or the silver so i thought i'd throw it out there and uh yeah i'm gonna go with uh what the masses say and leave these as um, silver I could change them at, at, at a future date if possible so um, the fifth wheel is now fixed on I have put in some um, button head bolts in there I will be filling in all of the spare holes that are not used uh, these over here and this here with other bolts don't like to see bolt holes what I have got 
is when Herbie DRC Paints painted this for me, he had a, a spare piece of um, checker plate and he said, I've just sprayed it back, you can have it. So thank you for that. So that will probably be going um, on top just there so it hides um, so it hides that lift motor and uh, that should just fit on there brilliantly uh, because we've got the cab to go on um, we have the heavy haul pack etc we've got the little catwalk that goes across uh so yeah happy with uh, how it's turning out so that's the basic bottom part i have had a little count up i um, yeah, put the um front cross member on just to put the bumper on um because the bumper's only two screws um modifications what have i done well i've had a quick look round um obviously the lift axle motor is one um <clears throat> the servo the servo arm is different to the servo saver and the um bracket it's the metal one that i got off ebay because if i show you the last one that i upgraded on the ainsco man the the ones that you get with the kit is very flexible so i've used the standard servo posts but i've used the metal bracket to fit to the um side of the chassis so that's that's that um some people have um asked why didn't i just use the servo that was at the front that i'm not using the for the shifter because i fitted the shift servo to the gearbox um well i just want to keep everything as standard as possible and that seems to work pretty well without buying and flipping the axle and buying the the the, the cast and steering bar um so yeah that works for me very well what else have i done um i've done the front axle modification so it steers harder like i do on all of my trucks it seems to work for me i don't have um, a particular problem with that modification um so lift axle, drop link shackles, servo bracket, servo arm. I've upgraded the motor. I've upgraded the fifth wheel. And obviously the wheels. I've upgraded the wheels. And also replaced some of these uh, rod ends. So in total, all the modifications that I've done comes to 137 pound right the front axle modification is free of charge so you know that's that's okay alloy wheels cost me 180 pound right so if we take that off we're only looking at around 150 pound um f for these other modifications if you take the wheels out of the equation um servo arm you don't need a servo saver, you really don't. Um, I, I use the Futaba SU300s, which are plastic gears, and I've never stripped one yet. You don't need the lift axle motor. Um, to take some of the play out, you, you might need the steering rod ends. You don't need a fifth wheel upgrade. You don't need a steering servo bracket upgrade. Drop link shackles, I would say you do need, because... The longer ones that they fitted to the front, I think, was just to lift that front up a little bit higher to give that lift axle some height. And with equal length suspension shackles, 
you do get a bit of lift on this and it's enough to lift it off the ground but when it's all down all of the hubs the, the centers of the hubs are all exactly the same height off the floor um so yeah i'd recommend getting those um drop link shackles from uh, tony's tamia parts they're about eight quid um you don't have to um upgrade the motor i upgrade them because the stock motor is a 35 turn i like a little bit slower motor and i use the carson i i really do like them the gear shift servo also is not a necessary thing and neither is that see really you could i've just gone to town with this because i'm stupid and i've got no concept of you know saving money but that's just me but anyway um apart from having very little time to spend on it and having like half an hour here and half an hour there an hour here an hour there that has turned out pretty damn good and now all i need to do is um put the cab on it and that is all here so there's not much left not much at all i will be uh detailing the um interior I have the right hand dash which i got from aztec models and um yeah so the next video don't know when it'll be give me a you know chance to get some free time this weekend's looking promising but i'm not going to hold my breath because somebody's going to throw something at me um but yeah i'm not moaning so yeah looking forward to getting the cab on i will be doing it um a little bit of modifications mainly one of the visual modifications i'll be doing is the sun visor because this has only got um two one at each side and mine at work has the three in the middle and that's what i want so looking at this it's not going to be um too much to modify it maybe the center one might be a challenge but we will see and notching out three of these the biggest challenge is going to be um measuring and marking out so that will be done that will be done what else oh yeah the um right hand dashboard means a small modification to the um front curbing mirror so it's tilted to the right and it needs to be on the left side tilted to the left and how that fits on is there So that fits in there. Let me just put all that together. So that's obviously for the left hand drive truck. And I need it to go on this side facing this way. So that's going to be a challenge. But I'm sure it's not going to hurt me too much. So yeah, the front sun visor will be modified. And uh, I think that's going to be it for this video. So thanks for listening to me waffle on. I do a lot of thinking whilst I am building. And I've got my favourite music playlist going off in the background. Which helps me chill out. So yeah, keep um, an eye out for the next video. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want, you know, if you want me to cover something, just leave me a comment. I always read the comments and uh, I always like to have um, other people's input on how things are progressing. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, 
I shall see you in the next one.